Been many big days in historic Tommy's Johnny's football rivalry, but when the two schools met again today, this time at Target Field, this might have been the biggest. It certainly was attendance wise. David McCoy has a recap. <laughs> 37,355 fans, the largest crowd in Division III football history, more than double the previous record. You know, I'll tell you what, Division III football, man, we're out here because we love this game. And I think that's what draws a lot of people. They just want to see guys that love the game and play with passion every single snap. And that's what we brought today. Win on three! One, two, three! Win! And those fans watched a terrific game. Back to pass, Perra, he's being rushed. St. Thomas took a 7-3 lead on a 31-yard touchdown pass from Jock Perra to Matt Christensen. Yeah, they're in the dirt right now at about the 38. No. Then they extended it to 14-3 when Perra went deep to Gabe Green for 61 yards. Perra with 230 passing yards and those two scores. St. John's cut into the deficit just before halftime. Jackson Erdman going 31 yards to Jared Street. St. Thomas kicked a field goal and led 17-10 at half. Dropping back the pass. After another Tommy's field goal, St. John's drew back within three as Erdman went long to Evan Clark with six minutes to play. But St. Thomas held them off and won their fourth straight in the series for the first time since the 50s. 20 to 17. I'm happy we beat our rivals. I'm happy we won a conference game. I'm happy we won a target field and the biggest home game in the history of Division Three. Pretty awesome. So much work goes into it. You know, we got so many guys, so many pieces, so many struggles that we've all dealt with together. So to overcome those obstacles, man, it feels it's incredible. I told our guys this is something you'll probably remember for the rest of your life. Um, and they probably don't realize that till after the game, what they, what they did. But um, it was a great showcase. I just wish we could have come out on top. This was one of those games where the statistics really tell the story. St. Thomas had more than twice as many yards, ran almost twice as many plays, had almost twice as much time of possession, including 25 of the final 30 minutes, and held St. John's to 0 for 11 on third down. But it was this statistic, one rushing yard allowed on 20 carries that impressed Coach Glenn Caruso the most. One yard rushing allowed is pretty tough to beat. Um, it is. I mean, that's one yard. It's like this. Um, that's not a lot. Uh, but I, I do think even though the offense wasn't wildly productive in the second half, I, I don't know which one is more unique. I don't know if we've ever had the ball for 25 minutes out of 30. That, that was pretty fun too, man.